Hi, my name is Eric Muir. I'm an undergraduate researcher working with Professor Friedman in the Department of Aerospace Engineering. This summer, I've been conducting research on the characterization of hysteresis in piezoceramic stack actuators and its effect on vibration reduction in helicopters using actively controlled trailing edge flaps. The desire for a jet smooth ride combined with stringent vibration requirements in modern rotorcraft is an important goal of the rotary wing community. These strict demands for enhanced comfort and customer acceptance require rotorcraft designs with decreased vibration levels. As shown in the video at right, the dominant source of vibrations is the rotor, which transfers vibrations to the rotor hub and fuselage. The predominant harmonic for a typical four-bladed rotor is the four perev frequency. Many methods, both passive and active, have been explored to reduce fuselage vibration levels caused by rotor vibrations. Actively controlled flaps have demonstrated the highest potential for reducing rotor vibration levels. Actively controlled flaps consist of a deflecting trailing edge flap located on each rotor. Since only a portion of the blade is actuated, the actively controlled flap has the lowest actuation power requirements of any current vibration reduction method. Actively controlled flap also has the ability to accommodate multiple flaps. Piezo ceramic stack actuators have been found to offer the best approach for flap actuation. They offer a one-dimensional one displacement in response to an input voltage, and they are light, compact, possess high, possess high actuation bandwidth, and require only small amounts of actuation power. Deflection of the flap is obtained through a mechanical amplification mechanism, as shown in the figure at right. Unfortunately, Piezo ceramic materials exhibit significant nonlinear behavior at high voltage. This nonlinear behavior is known as hysteresis. Hysteresis in piezo ceramic materials is a form of nonlinearity with memory. The output depends on both the current excitation voltage and the history of excitation. Unmodeled hysteresis in the actuator can lead to inaccuracies in the controller and thus reduce the effectiveness of the actively controlled flap system. The figure at right shows a typical hysteresis plot where displacement is on the vertical axis and input voltage is on the horizontal. The, pr the principal goal of this SURE research project is to conduct a basic experimental and numerical study of hysteresis characteristic of piezoceramic stack actuators. A hysteresis model resulting from this study will be incorporated into the active vibration and noise reduction simulation code developed by Professor Friedman's research group over the last decade. Hysteresis simulation code is based on classical Prezac model of hysteresis. The basis for the classical Prezac model is a continuous summation of two-way relays, which either take values 1 or negative 1. Each relay can be represented by a rectangular loop with alpha denoting the switching up value and beta denoting the switching down value. Increasing inputs follow the A, B, C, D, E path, while decreasing inputs follow the E, D, F, B, A path. The current input and excitation history determine which relays are switched up and which relays are switched down. Each relay, value, each relay value is multiplied by its associated weight function, and the sum of these products yields the output. As you can see in, by the lower right figure, there is a significant difference between the output for an increasing input and the, and the output for a decreasing input. The classical Prezac model utilizes a series of sinusoidal inputs to establish a hysteresis model. For our experiments, we purchased a Sudrat APA900M actuator and tested it with sinusoidal inputs of varying amplitude and frequency. A scanning vibrometer was used to measure the response velocity to these inputs. This velocity data was then integrated to determine the displacement of the free end of the actuator. These plots show a typical input waveform and actuator response. The displacement of the actuator was recorded for a series of sinusoidal inputs at 1 hertz frequency. The experimental data was then processed using MATLAB code to generate the hysteresis model of the actua actuator. This is a plot of a sample hysteresis um, characterization of the actuator. The blue line represents the experimental data that shows the hysteresis, whereas the dotted red line shows the model results from our code. The developed hysteresis model shows a strong representation of the experimentally obtained data, and overall the hysteresis model shows good capability to model hysteresis for a single sinusoidal inputs at low frequencies. 
Future testing will need to be accomplished to determine whether the model holds for arbitrary inputs at frequency up to 50 Hz. While initial tests suggest that the classical Prezac model holds for varying waveforms, this still needs to be confirmed. Further experimental data will also need to be collected in finer increments to improve the accuracy of the hysteresis model. And finally, implementation of the de developed hysteresis model into the Avenir simulation code will be completed. I would like to thank the College of Engineering for sponsoring my summer research project, and I would also like to recommend this program to anyone interested in potentially conducting research at a graduate level. Thanks.